Hello, hello. Want to learn more about where this ministry and work started? You can do just that by visiting my profile and spaces on Quora. Quora is a place where I answer questions just like I do on the YouTube channel and post in two different spaces, the devil and narcissism and cognitive dissonance. Feel free to follow this ministry and work on Quora for additional insight and information with God's wisdom. Thank you in advance for supporting the ministry and this work. Love and light always in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video on a channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to a Kayla Brooks. Thank you for your continued support. And we're going to dive into the why behind the spiritual awakening post-narcissistic abuse. It's like I've said in some of the podcast episodes and in a, an idea pin over there on Pinterest. Yes, you all, quick reminder, okay, everyone, you, to find all the social where this work is trending, you can find those links in the About section of the channel or under My Social on the website. Because we are, you know, we're on Quora, we've got the two spaces, got a Facebook business page, we're on uh, Instagram, um, you know, right there in the tag, we're on Instagram, we are uh, a co on Patreon, we are on Pinterest, uh, Telegram, Nextdoor, so that's to give you all some, some now Nextdoor is obviously local jurisdiction, okay, for biz I've got the business page there too, so I just want to give everybody a, a quick thank you in advance for you know, hopping on over to those different socials and, and, and giving it a quick like, you know, and a follow. And you'll continue to see, you know, I'll branch out, you know, here and there. But I don't, I don't necessarily give the, I don't take, I don't repost. Okay, I don't take a post from one site and repost it on the other. Mm -mm, God has us doing things differently. Alright, God has us doing things differently. I may take from... Like I'm branching out from the Pinterest idea pin, right? And we're going to elaborate further. That's how we do this, right? Okay, so there you go. So the why behind the spiritual awakening? Well, it ties right into, again, 1 Corinthians 15, 44. And then also in John 3, 3, you all, where Jesus tells us that we must be reborn again. All right? I'm going to repeat that so y'all can jot it down and take a peek. John 3.3, 3, where Jesus tells us that we've got to be reborn again. And that's being reborn in the spirit. Okay, we can only do that when we get in the spiritual awakening. And so I want everybody to, you know, just to keep that in mind. That that's the why behind the spiritual awakening. And so one thing, we can always, uh, it, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing because it's part of turning negatives into positive. We get in the spiritual awakening post-narcissistic abuse so that God can do what he's got to do. So, the, so that we can be reborn. And as a reminder, everyone, it happens differently for all of us. So let's get the conversation going down there in the uh, comment section about this. If, if you're willing to share. God told me I can share this. Because I'm not the only one who would experience you know, the, something similar to that. On the day that he awakened me, I was driving down the highway. And I remember the aha, it was a huge aha moment. All right? And it's like I, I, I literally remember feeling as though the, it's like a, the pair of lenses, the, the one rose tinted lens. And one clear lens, boy, those glasses were be just went poof, okay? Because I was going over some of the uh, that that current case study things. I was analyzing. I was like, okay, and I was talking to God, okay? I was talking to God, and so I was asking God questions. And next thing I know, I started to feel the Holy Spirit rising, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And then I realized. <gasps> I said, this is the real spiritual battle between good and evil. It's not, you know, yeah, it's like, oh my gosh. I was like, okay, oh, so it's not in the physical. Oh my gosh. You know, I was like, just when I realized in that very moment that it's not in the physical. 
And so that reminds me of Ephesians 6.12. 6, it's like, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. I understood that now. That, oh, okay, so, you know, going forward, we really understand what that means. If we're dealing with spiritual energy transfer. And, oh, my gosh, when God started downloading things to me after that moment, and that, that, was, my, that was me being raised to spiritual body, and I just felt the Holy Spirit rise. It's almost like it washed over me. And so I was like, whoa. And then, of course, it took a little while to sink in. I'm not going to deny that. But I was like, oh, my gosh. And then I, as I started looking around, I mean, things just started looking different. You know, I was like, wow, wait a minute. Everything looks different now. You know, it, it was just, it, it was an amazing thing. And then I started to be able to send negative energy. And I was like, what is that? You know, I you re remember you all, I was 38 when that happened. 36 when I actually entered the spiritual awakening. Right, so like I said, I said oh, yeah, it's been years, okay, in the spiritual awakening. So I want y'all to understand that too. It's not a, it's, once you get in it, we don't always know when we're in it. Okay, because uh, I had that talk with God, because I was like, wait a minute, I know that I was reborn on that day, that I realized that it was uh, a real spiritual battle between evil and good, and that it's not physical, so I realized that, but I was like, okay, but I had started, you know, leaning, leading up to that, and he revealed it to me, he said, remember how old you were when you started to see a little bit more of the abusive behaviors and the psychopath, and I went, oh, that's right. So there you go, everyone. That's how it, that, that's, that's how it worked, okay? And so it's different for everyone. So I just want you all to keep that in mind. But that's the why behind the spiritual awakening after narcissistic abuse. Because God needs us to be reborn again. All right? Because just like Jesus says, okay, everyone, John 3, 3. He said that when he was being asked about it, you know, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You see, the enemy doesn't want people to be reborn again so that they discover that the kingdom of God is within. Luke 17, 21. All right, everyone. So I am going to be, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to cut this one short. But that's it, really, because that's what goes into it. So that gives you enough right there to ponder over and let that sink in and as always if you have any questions you know where to reach me all right for additional information insight and other good stuff check out these videos right here sending love and light to all fellow warriors thank you for watching and for your support until next time let's show some gratitude to the heavenly father and you keep being you in jesus name amen